uh, my mother asked me if I wanted to speak, um, say a few words, and I said, yeah, that, that'd be cool. Um, I'd like to do that for Grand Moran. Um, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Uh, so I thought about uh, reading a poem or uh, a piece of literature that uh, had particularly impacted me, and I was searching through some books this week, but um, I really didn't find anything. So I said, well, why don't I just write something? Um, so here goes um, a little something I wrote this week called um, 14 Winds. The water called to them. They were a people of it. A literal flock of Irish Catholics, they were called. <laughs> Hearts of wind and spray they had. A discerning ear could hear their calls in the east wind as they flew on it, sailed on it. Fiberglass and rope calloused their hands. That east wind and lake country water carved their visages. And she watched. She watched from the kitchen window that faced the forest. She watched from the office window that faced the parking lot. She watched from the St. Vinny's window that faced the needy. She watched from seven windows, all facing the water, that made the lives of her children. She saw 14 winds from those seven windows. Fierce winds, 14 stubborn winds with ideas and agendas unique. Each was born of a true Gaelic spirit, and even a young sailor knows the impossibility of controlling the winds. So she gazes out her seven windows, feeling the winds ebb and flow. Her hands are tough but gentle as she sews, so they will remember where they came from as they go. Thread and textiles sewn together with love and pride Remind those 14 going on 40 winds that she, the matriarch of them all, has many winds from which to watch the wind blow. We love you, Grandma.